tonight on my big show, AJ Adudu plays Centre Wall. I take my Wheel on Wheels van for another spin. There's music from the sensational Zara Larson, And who will be tonight's unexpected star of the show? Ladies and gentlemen, it's the big show. Please welcome your host, Michael McIntyre. Welcome to my big show. It is time, ladies and gentlemen, to find out who is going to be tonight's unexpected star of the show! <laughs> so this is Louise. She is 28 years old, and she lives in Pontypool, Wales. Yeah. She's been nominated by her fiancé, Maz. Who is he? Who's Maz, then? Nice to see you. OK, so let me tell you about Louise. At 19 years old, she left home in Wales to perform in pubs and clubs to try and make it as a singer. But unfortunately, whilst away, her grandfather, who she was very close to, passed away. But having promised him that she would look after her nan, she returned home. And her dreams of being a singer slowly disappeared. So she has been nominated to have a moment in her life that she'll never forget, and so much deserves now due to health reasons unfortunately her beloved nan who is her biggest fan she can't be with her tonight but maz is here her friends are here they're supporting her on what is guaranteed to be a sensational night you up for that ladies and gentlemen let's do this okay louise is an adrenaline junkie and another one of her dreams is to go skydiving. So tonight, we're going to make that dream come true. <laughs> <laughs> well, kind of. So Louise and her good friend Gemma, they've come to London and they've booked to come to an indoor skydive centre. So they're already here, they're back behind us. So that is Louise in the middle. That is her friend Gemma. On the left there, that's Daniel. He's an actor. And they're preparing for takeoff in the departure lounge. She'll be taken through to what she thinks is an indoor skydive, which is on the stage in front of you. Fans will be blowing in her face. And just when she thinks it's about to start, that's going to fall down. You're all going to go completely crazy. And I, I really, really don't actually want to do this. I'm going to be also in a jumpsuit. <laughs> I, and I'm going to be on a, on a wire. And I'm going to be suspended above her. <laughs> then when the wall falls down, I'm going to be lowered next to her. <laughs> yeah. OK, so we are going to have a little bit of fun, obviously, before we bring her through. OK, let's send in Caroline, who is our skydiving instructor. Hello. Hi, I'm so sorry to keep you. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Star Flight. Just a quick check. Just a quick check. Um, in the last 24 hours, has any of you had any dates? In the last 24 hours, have any of you had any dates? Prunes. Prunes. Or Brussels sprouts. Or Brussels sprouts. Because <laughs> it, 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 it could affect the airflow. Because it could affect the airflow. Um, I don't think I have. You don't think so? I've had asparagus. Is that asparagus is not usually a problem. 
Say you'll go and check asparagus, but it should be fine. I will just go and check asparagus, just to be sure, but it should be fine. Okay. <laughs> no, don't worry about it. It'll be fine. I'll, I, but I will check. OK. See you guys in a minute. I'll see you in a minute, OK? One minute. What if this hair can't do it? What if this hair can't do it? Because it's asparagus. Yeah. <laughs> They'll have to just wait for me to have a poo. I don't have a poo. <laughs> <laughs> OK, let's send Caroline back in with the, with the picture. <laughs> Hi, guys. Sorry, we'll be with you in just one moment. I just have to pop this up here. So James Blunt is actually about to come in. Seriously. OK. Let's send, let's send in James. Let's send him in. <sighs> wow, okay. man. That was awesome. That was just incredible. Thank you so much. What a rush. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Hi there, James uh, Blunt. Uh, how do you do? Uh, Hi there. How do you do? How do you do, James Blunt? How yeah. do you do? Lovely to meet Just you. Just it's so much fun. You feel like you're so flying. So much fun. I mean, you're literally, you are flying. I'm mean, slightly you know, worried, though, that it might have affected yeah. my vocal cords. Maybe the wind just affected yeah. one's throat. I've got a show tomorrow night, and I just obviously need to sing. S sing, <laughs> sing some lines. Sing some well, lines. Let me down. Should I be feeling guilty? Well, let the clouds frown. Oh, it's a little scratchy. It does sound like me, though. Yeah. yeah. Doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, I'm a bit yeah. nervous now. <laughs> no. <laughs> Goodbye, my lover. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, it's really sketchy. <laughs> so, it sounds good to yeah. me. It sounds good. Yeah. OK. Um, Caroline, just say, James, do you mind signing this? James, sorry, do you mind signing the picture just before you go? Actually, I don't really sign. If I'm honest, I really do. I try not to sign them myself, just because, you know, otherwise my, the, my credit card and stuff like that will have that. Oh, right. Would you mind signing for me? Yeah. Just like write James Blunt and like a uh, smiley face and a uh, okay. couple of kisses. That'd be awesome. Yeah. Do you know what? Just the big stars never sign themselves. <laughs> and then write yeah. you're beautiful. Maybe I'm, I will you write you're beautiful as well underneath. It would be awesome. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. I tell you what, that's, that's better than I would have done it anyway. <laughs> Guys, have an amazing time. And then just shout goodbye, my friends, on the way up. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Bye, my friends. <laughs> 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 okay, I'm gonna go and get ready. When this wall falls down, go insane on your feet and you know, give her the maximum surprise possible. Okay, see you in a second. The strangest thing I've ever done in my life is sign someone yeah. else's. Have you ever met James Bond? <laughs> I don't want to do this. <laughs> now, this harness situation, it's going to pull right up like that. OK, all right. Goodbye, my lover. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> OK, we, Louise is now going to get kitted up, and she's going to come here, and then I'm going to be hoisted. Now, I need to be hoisted higher than when this falls down, otherwise the surprise will be this will collapse, it will crush me on the floor, and then she will just be there, and everyone will go, ah! Like that. And then someone else is going to need to host. Do you think you, you... Are you up for the host? Could you host? Yeah, I... ah! So if it crushes me, yeah, all you have to do is just do send to all and then the midnight game show and then say, see you next week on the big show, OK? And then there'll be a God Almighty lawsuit. <laughs> OK, let's get around. OK, thanks for your patience. Come on through, it's your turn. Do you want to go first? Yeah, I'll lead you OK. OK, let's go up. So... <laughs> okay, we're ready, yeah. right? Come on let's through, do let's do it. it. Hey, so okay. we're just through here, see there, through, through there. Okay, fantastic. Is this so, be fine? yeah, yeah, you're fine to stand Ooh. on that. I know, it feels a bit <laughs> odd. So, get on your tummy in your like starfish Okey position. Day. That's it, fantastic. Right, so these fans obviously starting now beneath you, okay? Okay. So, there will be a countdown, and on zero, you will slowly start to raise up. Arms out straight, keep your head up. Okay, let's do this.
gentlemen, please welcome our unexpected star of tonight's show. It's Louise from Pontypool. <laughs> Look over there. It's Matt. He's your friend. <laughs> Come with me. Come with me. Absolutely extraordinary surprise. Step down okay. into the sky. <laughs> oh, Louise, um, how are you feeling about that? Uh, I don't really know. <laughs> it must be the most crazy thing. Yeah. So you were completely expecting to, to be go stuck. in the air. Yeah. <laughs> well. It's really exciting. <laughs> Well, hopefully, we're going to give you more excitement than that. Um, you are here at the Theatre Royal in Drury Lane. It's huge in there. Yeah, there are 2,000 people here, and they're all here for you to be our unexpected star of the show, because Maz over there has nominated you to perform for us oh my God. tonight. So we're going to take you off. We're going to calm you down. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You don't have to sing immediately. Okay, that's good. Okay. This is hurting my ass. Yeah. <laughs> All I need to do, Louise, is yeah. to ask you if you will be tonight's unexpected star of the show. It would be a bit awkward if I said no, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <A okay>. bit. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies. Gentlemen, it's our unexpected star of tonight's show, Skydiving Louise! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, who would like to play Centaur? <laughs> so let's see who is in our Centaur box this week. Well, I first met her when she came on my game show, The Wheel, and she was so fun and so funny, I told everybody who would listen that she is going to be a huge star, and she is well on her way. It is the heavenly AJ Adudu! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> I love you. I love you. Um, how are you? How's it going? Who's with you in the box? Really great. These are my gorgeous friends. This is Thomas, Carl and Tembi. Hi, guys. <laughs> Welcome. Now, talk about your phone, because that's what tonight's all about, AJ. How's your screen time? Well, I wouldn't say I'm addicted to it, but I do like my phone. I mean, it's in me hand right now. It's glued to me. It's not an iPhone, though, is it? It's a Google Pixel. How, how come you've got um, that one? Well, actually, a few years ago, I just thought iPhones, every time I dropped them, the, the screen would smash. And then yeah. five times in the one week, I dropped my phone and smashed it literally five consecutive days in a row. And I was like, I can't have this. I need a more sturdy screen. I think you should be worrying more about you. <laughs> Why are you dropping your phone five days in a row? Your phone drops. <laughs> no, you <laughs> drop it. <laughs> it gets knocked, and it's yeah. always a little accident. So it's, st it's sturdiness. Sturdiness. Basically, you're looking for the most northern phone you could find. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, AJ, yeah. and I hope I'm right about this, you do burn the candle at both ends, is that fair? I love a party. Yeah. But you brought that up, I was out. <laughs> I was out till quite late last night. All right. Where were you last night? I went to this big, fabulous, lavish celeb bash. Ooh. It doesn't sound like I got the invite. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was amazing. Oh, yeah. It was palatial. But it was late one. Very late. All right. Very, very, very late. I had a Mac and D's, though, at 5am, did. didn't we? Did, we did. That was good. <laughs> that is the sign, I don't know, of a good night? I don't know. <laughs> so, so when did you wake up? Uh, well, I went to bed at 7am. Whoa! I don't know why. I, I felt like the age to have a bath. Oh, my God! you clean after that, Just you? so you know, no-one in this room is sharing your lifestyle. <laughs> Mickey D's 5am, 7am bath, <laughs> then, then, then what happens? Then I went to sleep, and Excellent. then I got up to work at 11. And you were there too? I was there indeed, yeah. How are you feeling, Thomas? I feel all right, actually. Yeah, I feel yeah. all right, yeah. actually. <laughs> Thomas, with all due respect, you don't look quite as good as AJ after the <laughs> night. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> no, no, it's fine, it's fine, but you had a late night. AJ looks spectacular. <laughs> um, but, OK, brilliant. So, 
Let's get this phone down. Yes. I mean, seeing as it's so sturdy, you might as well throw it at me. <laughs> <laughs> you got a gadget! <laughs> oh my god, are you actually gonna do it? Yeah! <laughs> You'll be right! Oh god, it's too nerve wracking! What if I drop it? Are you gonna have a good gadget? It would bring the whole thing! Wait, no! Ouch! <laughs> I got it! I got it! I got it! I got it! I got it. <laughs> 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 All right, that was so tense. That was right, good. Here we go. I'm going to plug it in. All right, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, um, that is AJ's phone! <laughs> uh -oh. All right. TikTok, Google, Spotify. What have you been listening to? Ooh. Oh, wait, there's something playing. Let's... This is AJ in the bath at 7 a.m. with a yeah. big match in her mouth. <laughs> Pass me another chip, will ya? <laughs> yes, right. Jojo. Bit of Jojo, that. Lovely. Jojo. OK. Photos. Where are the photos on this phone? Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, we have photos. There you go. Ooh, camera roll. Is that what we do? These ones? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a face mask. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've started to get into these, you know. Yeah. Getting a bit older. Whack that on. Why not? <laughs> and what? Oh, hitchhiking to the show tonight? <laughs> uh, the car had broke down. Did you know this? <laughs> you can't call a taxi to pick you up from the hard shoulder of a motorway. How do you know? It's, it's one of those things that surprises no one. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have a clue. Um, oh, hello. Yeah, hello. Now, that can't be easy, easy to put on. That yeah. is a custom-made latex jumpsuit. So how long does it take to put something like that on, asking for a wife? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, it took about four people a tub of talcum powder and a lot of ambition. <laughs> a lot of ambition! <laughs> <laughs> it was easier to take off. Oh, just, amazing. Yeah. And is that just scissors? <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pop this text in. All right, so here's your text. <laughs> OK, so we're going to start with, mm -hmm. I had such a weird dream mm. last night. Now, I always think that's a good way to start a text. Look, I, I, we thought of this text earlier, right? This was before I knew that you didn't actually sleep at night. So I don't know when you had this dream. Um, <laughs> maybe, you, maybe you had a cat nap in the bath. <laughs> you and I were married. Always fun to send that to everyone in your phone. God. God. And had a row. Is a row a word you would use? Argument, tiff, Yeah, I'd barney. say a row or a barney. I had a Barney. Do you think Barney? I had think a... Barney. OK, Barney, there you go. And had a Barney... <laughs> yeah. ..at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Is that somewhere <laughs> you, you would have gone as a, as a child? 100%. 100%. <laughs> well, it could pop up in your dream. <laughs> yeah. So, you were wearing my blue latex... <laughs> <laughs> Would you say cat suit or jump? Cat suit. Cat suit. <laughs> you were wearing my blue latex cat suit <laughs> and chasing me around the Big Dipper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What do you think that means? OK, question mark. Here we go. Now, let's play the emoji game. Now, where do we go here with the emojis? I think just go... Yeah. Laughing, but like not it... too laughing. All right. Top right next to the fire emoji. That one? That one. Oh, that is a good one. I want that one. Yeah. Oh no! I've sent that to everyone. <laughs> oh no! How do I delete it? should do is continue with this message, send right. that... OK, let's see how that goes. That has gone, ladies and gentlemen! <laughs> I think that's good. Oh, my God. OK, 
Well, that is the first time we've ever just said a, a random terrifying... But I think it sets it up well. Yes, it's like, whoa, oh, prepare yourself. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be finding out what replies AJ gets later in the show. But one more time, please, for the wondrous AJ Adudu. So fun. Thank you. <laughs> OK. Now we are going to play my new favourite game. It's Wheel on Wheels! <laughs> I've been spending my Saturday evenings travelling up and down the country in my Wheel on Wheels van to surprise unsuspecting families who are watching my game show The Wheel live as it goes out on television. This week, I ended up on the streets of Ilford. <laughs> Let's see how I got on in the latest instalment of Wheel on Wheels! I've been driving up and down the streets of Ilford with a van full of prizes and two mystery celebrity experts looking for a family to play Wheel on Wheels. Saturday night. Tonight is, of course, the wheel. What are you guys doing here? It's Harry King. What are you doing here? You should be at home watching my TV show. <laughs> I'm very confident someone's watching the wheel. Oh, there's some people. Oh, more TVs. You can see TVs. It's amazing. OK, wait. I'm just going to jump out. OK, guys, time check. I think it's like two minutes. It's two minutes to the show. I have to find someone in one of these houses watching it. You're heading out, sir? Oh, yes. You're heading out? Yeah. Where are you headed? Uh, I'm just going to Luton to meet one friend. You're going to Luton? Yeah. OK, great. Um, iPlayer, uh, the wheel on iPlayer tomorrow. Okay. From okay. tomorrow, straight after. <laughs> Probably from about 10 p.m. Okay. What time will you be back from Luton? Uh, I will be back around 11. Perfect, you can watch it then. OK, great. <laughs> Thanks. Have a good trip to Luton. Seems like a valid excuse. <laughs> so what's down here? Basically, it's just shops. It's Paddy Power. There's a pub. They're watching horse racing. OK. You may have noticed that I've come with a few remote controls because I knew there was a, a chance that people wouldn't be watching the wheel. And I just want to do my best to help them. So let's just go, let's head in here. <laughs> right, all these people look quite serious. <laughs> Lads, all right? There's quite a lot of TVs here. You've got a TV there, you've got another TV over here. Surely one of these are going to work. <laughs> My work here is done. How are you? Hi. What's the plan tonight? I'm going clubbing in a minute. You're going clubbing? Well, Can I, I just am. confirm that you will be uh, watching the wheel on catch up? Yeah, it's on Probably. now. It's on now? Yeah. Do you want to come have a look? On, okay, come, come on. Come and look. <laughs> am I on the TV right now? Oh my god, I am quick! Come on, it's happening! <laughs> there we go! That is good to know. Listen, you've got to go clubbing. Chinese dinner, the okay. wheel, perfect night yeah, in. That's it. Nice to meet you. All right, that went really well. We've got to find more people though. Okay. Okay, we, I've got one. Can you see it? Can you see the wheel? Have you got it? That's everything we want. Let's go see what we can do here. Pause it! 
How are you? Hello, nice to see you. Oh, I'm just going to cross the door. 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 Um, I have no idea what you just said. <laughs> uh, I can see that you're watching tonight's episode of The Wheel. We are looking for people who are watching The Wheel to play Wheel on Wheels. I am here to play the show with you for prizes that are in the back of my van. Are you up for that, guys? Yeah! Let's do this! So time for cameras, lights, and name badges as we turn this living room into a game show. So I need to know who's who. I'm Hasina. Yes. I'm the mum of this house. I'm sure I'm sure. the father. Very good. I'm Liana. I'm the oldest. Hi, Liana. I'm Dold. I'm the youngest. I'm Ibrahim. He's my uncle. She's my oh. auntie. And over there is my even more handsome younger brother. OK. Um, now, guys, if you can see outside, we have a van filled with prizes. Oh, my God. Oh, very nice. Michael! Michael! OK. Michael! So, Michael! Michael! This is going really Michael, well. Michael! We're so cool! Michael! Michael! Michael. 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 <laughs> so, this is what's going to happen. We are going to spin to the question and see what it is. I think we'll start with Mum and Dad. Oh. And I have to say, no help from anyone over here. All right, you are playing for a set of saucepans. Now, I've got to be honest, I've been in your kitchen. There's a lot of cooking that goes on. You have a lot of saucepans already. Yes. Could you use new saucepans? Of course. For all the merrier. This is your question. Liz Truss walked onto which piece of music at the 2022 Tory party conference? She had an upbeat music on, and I do remember that. It's definitely not... Is it dancing, actually? I thought it wasn't dancing, Queen, but... No. What do you think? I think it's moving on the up. How does that go? Moving on the up. Da, da, da. Asina, you, you keep moving adding... Moving on the up. You keep yeah. adding the That's word the, the in there. Yeah. Moving on the up. You think it's moving on the up? Yeah, I think it's yeah. moving on the up. It's moving on up. There's no the. I, I, I think, I think moving that's wrong. On the up. I think it's moving on the up. I think you made a typo. <laughs> no, it's not moving on the up. <laughs> OK, you're going to have to lock something yeah. in. Moving on up, please. OK, we're locked it in. I said Dancing Queen. Ooh, you think Dancing Queen. I don't know, I've just got a feeling. Mm. Let's see what they lock in. Moving on up has been locked in. Oh, they went with the same as you! Oh! Moving on the up! Oh, okay. Moving on the up! Go, go. Will there be more saucepans in this house and many saucepans? We've got one right, at least. So, we move on to the next question. We are going to bring in our first celebrity oh, expert. Yeah! <laughs> I can tell you that he appeared on series three of The Wheel. He finished bottom of the leaderboard. <laughs> it is Chub Skinner! <laughs> <laughs> He's right up. Oh. Can I get a cup of tea? Can Tom get a cup of tea? Is that some awesome? We've got some awesome. Do you want some awesome? And we've got biryani. Can we get... Yeah. Game everything. Game everything. Would you like some biryani? Oh, I'd love some biryani. Let me go get it. You're going to get... Do you mind, Nessie? <laughs> do you mind? OK, next question is going to be with, I think, just you and Hasina when she comes back. You are playing for six luxury silk dressing gowns. Yes! <laughs> that was the, I did not expect that from you, Ibrahim. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a man of many, many fashions. 100% silk? They're 100% silk. So I just check with them, you know what I mean? Make sure it's... Yeah. Yeah. Make sure it's <laughs> legit. Here we go. So we have your oh, biryani. Yeah. Yes, thank you. Biryani. Which is lovely. It's really lovely. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look at the question. Only you two, no help from anybody else. Which of these animals has oh. populations native to South Africa? I think it's caribou. It can't be a penguin and it can't be a snow leopard because that, they, they're in the Arctic. Yeah, there's no snow is there in South Africa. Yes. Quite there. Yeah, so it's really hot. So it's not definitely not penguin and it's definitely not snow leopard. So let's take those two out. It's between the walrus and a caribou. It's got to be a caribou, isn't it? All right. Let's do it. Let's see what they do. Ooh, caribou. It's a caribou. It's a caribou. We've got the right answer, I'm telling you. <gasps> oh, wow. 
What? What's the right answer? What? What? How can you a penguin? Don't worry, you'll get him to Christian Young. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, the van's open. I'll nick it, don't worry. I'll... <laughs> Please do not come on this show on Wheel on Wheels and just because there's a van that's open, feel compelled to steal everything from within. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, it's time to say goodbye to Tom, but you can take your biryani. Yeah, of course you can. <laughs> Tom yeah. Skinner, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Tom. Well done. It's time to introduce someone who has appeared on the wheel twice. She finished top of the leaderboard in Series 1. Whoa. Trust her. Her subjects were maths and maths. Oh, my God! It's Rachel <laughs> Riley! <laughs> If Rach can squeeze in the middle, we are playing for a barbecue. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We do like a barbecue. Let's have a look at the question. When shall we three meet again? In thunder, lightning, or in rain? Is the opening line to which Shakespeare play? Oh, you got the wrong woman for this. It's Macbeth. I'm hey, studying this. Hey, this, hey, is hey, this is my GCSEs. I know this. Yeah! GCSEs! 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 Oh! I feel like I'm 90% confident. What? Oh, what? It's the three witches when they meet up in the first scene, Act 1, Scene 1. You're not 90%, you're 100%. Oh, yeah, 100%. Come on, you know this for the this rest of your life. This is the moment. could be the best endorsement. For GCSEs. Hello, who's your English teacher? Miss Katoon. Do you want to say thank you? Hi, Miss Katoon. Hi, Miss We Miss haven't got it right yet. <laughs> we know. Yeah! 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 Well done. The barbecue is yours. Yeah! Thank you so much, Rachel Riley. Yeah! What a winner. Rachel, what a winner. Rachel! Rachel! <laughs> okay, guys, we're now going to play for a hot tub. Yeah! I think we're going to go oldest and youngest. That and those! Oh! Yeah! All right, here we go. What is written underneath Trotter's Independent <laughs> Trading Company on the side of their yellow van? Side of the van. So, do you know anything about this, Dad? I know a bit, but I don't know that question. Uh, right, he who dares wins is a <laughs> saying that Delbo used to say. So you wouldn't have that no, on your phone. No, no, I, I have a thought. Okay. So you said that's a trading company, yeah. and you trade between different cities. So, uh, so far I'm thinking New York, Paris, and Peckham. This is for the hot tub. <clears throat> is it hot? It's hot in here. I think you're right, son. Okay. I think it's New York, Paris, Peckham. I wasn't expecting you to be the one to step up with this logic on account of the fact that this is quite an old TV show and you're very young. How old are you? Twelve. Twelve years old. He's never seen it before as well. Well, you have locked in New York, Paris, Peckham for the hot tub. New York, Paris, Peckham. Oh, it's the same! Oh. Come on. Great logic. That was fantastic. The hot tub is yours. OK, it's going to be the final question. I can tell you that if you get this right, you will be winning a holiday to Mallorca. For all of us. You will all be going on this holiday. <laughs> <laughs> OK. 30 seconds to discuss it when the question comes up. This is for the holiday. In Greek mythology, which of these deities is male? Aphrodite yeah. is the goddess of beauty. Yeah. Goddess. Yeah. Yeah. Athena. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's Powers, a good that's, Yeah, but it's a goddess. Yeah, Artemis. Yeah. It could be between them, but I feel, I feel really Apollo certain. Apollo. OK, wait, 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 why do you think Apollo? OK, there's a wrestler called Apollo Crews, and he's a male, so... <laughs> Rocky Apollo Creed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Come on! Yeah. I know it makes sense! What are you locking in? Apollo. Apollo's been locked in. Right, guys, 
This is for our days. Hands, hands together, guys. Hands, hands together. together. Hands together. She's also locked in Apollo. This is. I can't breathe. <laughs> Now, we've got to talk, Casina, about why you didn't lock the porch door. Who's responsible for that? I'm Dad? Still, I'm still trying to figure I, I, that out. I think the last person that came in was, was Ibrahim. It was you. The Arsenal game was on. <laughs> so you let... Because I couldn't believe it when I saw it open. So that was additionally terrifying or exciting. <laughs> well, guys, you were so, so much fun. You've got your, your silk dressing gown, Ibrahim? Of course, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> we need to reclaim that. You didn't officially win that. Oh, no, no. Tom found it. <laughs> That's what you said. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, there's Ibrahim in his stolen silk dresser gown. <laughs> and the amazing Ahmed family! Brilliant. OK. Next, ladies and gentlemen, we have a performance from a global superstar. She has been streamed a massive eight billion times worldwide, performing her brand new single, You Love Who You Love. It's Zara Larson! <laughs> What a beautiful song. Yeah, it's fun. Um, this is your new single. When's your new album out? February the 9th. It's going to be a huge sensation because you sing amazingly. You're so super cool. Well done. Thank you Thank for you coming so on for my show. Me. Good luck with everything. It's Zara Larson, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> So, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to catch up with our central guest, AJ Adudu, and see what replies she got. Come on, then. <laughs> so... Hi, AJ. Hiya. You seem to have no anxiety whatsoever over the replies. I just got a feeling no one's texting you back. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so let's remind ourselves of the text that I sent to everybody in AJ's phone that she's confident Nobody replied to. <laughs> I had such a weird dream last night. You and I were married and had a barney at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. You were wearing my blue latex catsuit and chasing me around the Big Dipper. What do you think that... Sorry. 
When I said blue latex catsuit, a man made the most creepy noise I've <laughs> ever heard in my life. I said blue latex catsuit, and all we heard was... <laughs> Please, sir, control yourself. <laughs> you were wearing my blue latex catsuit. And chasing me around the Big Dipper. What do you think that means? OK, so we'll start with TV's Ben Shepherd. Oh. <laughs> How do you know Sheps? I did a pilot for him. OK. The show got commissioned. Beautiful. With a different presenter. <laughs> who, who presented it? Alan Carr. <laughs> Damn him! Damn, you and him must always be competing for the same jobs. <laughs> <laughs> You're so similar. Interchangeable. <laughs> he says, you say weird, AJ, but let's face it, you're only human. It was going to happen sooner or later. <laughs> then he's gone for the emoji of the winking tongue out. <laughs> that said, not sure there's enough talc in the whole of Blackpool <laughs> to get me into that catsuit. <laughs> But I'm up for it if you are. <laughs> Sheps. <laughs> and he's online. Thank you, man. Oh, I might, I might send him a, yeah. Defo up for it, lad. <laughs> <laughs> I've actually replied that to Ben Shepard. <laughs> it's only because he's online. I just thought I might as well. He's waiting. He's so excited. <laughs> Shepard's married with children. <laughs> he's sitting in the downstairs loo going, I'll be out in a minute. <laughs> Now, this says Tom Watson, and there's a photograph. That's Tom Watson, the former deputy leader of oh. the Labour Party. <laughs> yeah. Don't tell me you two host a show together and they replace him with Alan Carr. <laughs> what? How do you know Tom Watson? <laughs> do you know what? <laughs> we did a show together. <laughs> you and Tom Watson? I presented the show um, called Don't Rock the Boat. We're a bunch of celebrities yeah. split into two teams okay. to race from the... Where were they racing from? We started from? in Cornwall. We started in Cornwall. Yeah. Right. And we went all the way up to the... to, like, John O'Groats. Oh, I'm sorry I missed that one. Um, <laughs> I think Alan Carr turned that down. <laughs> he started with, oh, my God. And then he's written a sentence that we've never had on Centaur. He went, that is avant-garde. <laughs> <laughs> Not even sure I know what that means. <laughs> Aren't you married yet anyway? Of course, if we were married, you'd be Lady AJ. Ooh! <laughs> Political. <laughs> Political. Political. <laughs> All right. Derma O'Leary. <laughs> Uh, it's a standard Big Brother dream. We've all been there. <laughs> I had exactly the same dream about Davina. <laughs> <laughs> ben Foden? Ben Foden! Who's that? Ex-rugby player. Right. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, so he's gone nothing good with all the eyes, and then he's gone, or maybe something really good. <laughs> You're really freaking out now. <laughs> he said, I do look good in blue and latex. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm so sorry, I didn't know they were going to go this way. <laughs> it's starting to feel stressful now, isn't it? Yeah, it yeah. is. I'm, just, I'm literally sweating. I'm like, help! <laughs> help. <laughs> Uh, Dan Walker. Dan Walker. Dan Walker. There's no way he's going to get flirty. No way. Dan he's not going to get flirty. So he's quite a long text. It means two things. One, you're mad. <laughs> two, it would take me about two weeks and a lot of grease to get into that cat suit of yours. There's no way I'd be chasing you anywhere wearing that. <laughs> Hope you're OK. Oh, no. Then he said, will you ask Michael if I can go back on the wheel? <laughs> Uh, Barber. Barber is uh, Tom. He um, he's a producer, musician, 
Right. And friend. Okay. <laughs> well, I have to be honest, he has taken this more seriously than anybody. <laughs> He, I think he's used artificial intelligence to find out what the dream means. <laughs> the dream could suggest a desire for excitement and adventure in a Ooh. romantic relationship. The conflict or argument, in brackets, Barney, could symbolise unresolved issues or differences that need to be addressed. The blue latex cat suit may represent a need for vulnerability and trust in the relationship. Chasing each other on the Big Dipper may signify the ups and downs of a relationship. With the roller coaster representing the emotional journey experienced together. Well, that's our answer! David Getter has just texted. <laughs> He's just gone three laughing emojis and then just, wow. <laughs> Dan Electrician? Dan. Dan Electrician. The Alecky. <laughs> the Sparky. He done me dirty. He texted back. What did he do? <laughs> he did he your dirty. He texted back. Oh, he shafted me. Yeah. He shafted you? He shafted me. Yeah. And he's texting me back. What's yes, he, he said? Has. What's he said? What's he said? <laughs> Is he going to come back and fix those problems? Yeah. <laughs> he said, it means you had too much to drink. I'm more worried about the blue latex cat suit. Mm. Well, I'm worried about the sensor light that won't switch off. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Mate. <laughs> when are you fixing that sensor light? And then I'm going to put, I think that's what it means. <laughs> <laughs> God, he really wound you up, didn't he? <laughs> oh, damn, the lecky! <laughs> put, give me five minutes in a room and die with him. <laughs> oh, I'm in dark anyway, because the bloody light not working. You are a, such a sensation. We love you so much. You're so funny. An amazing sport. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the fantastic, broken, sensor light owning, hilarious, wondrous, blue latex, cat suit adorning, AJ Adudu! <laughs> very, very good. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's the moment we've all been waiting for. Earlier tonight, of course, Louise came here thinking she was here for a skydive, but she was actually here for a moment she's been waiting for for a very long time. Let's have a quick look at how she's been getting on since that enormous surprise. Oh, my God, what is happening? <laughs> At first of all, I thought something had broke. I recognised him straight away and I was like, oh my god, I have a feeling, I know what's going on. This is your night now, Louise. Oh my god. <laughs> Good luck. No pressure. Good luck. Oh, we love you, we love Louise. <laughs> what am I going to sing? Oh god. Hi. 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 Welcome to your rehearsal room. Oh, thank you. I'm still shaking. <laughs> so we're going to do a little warm up. To sing on a West End stage, it's a complete dream come true for me. I absolutely love musical theatre. I just love everything about it. My mum loved musical theatre. My nan loves musical theatre. I really wish that my nan could be here, but I know she'll be just as proud of me watching on the telly as she would if she was here. Singing, to me, is just the way that I've always got through life. Like, when life's been tough, I turn to music. So much can be said through a song that can't be said through words. It's the most me I ever am, is when I'm singing. Are you ready? You're ready to do it. Okay. I just hope my nerves don't take over, but I'm raring to go. So, ladies and gentlemen, please give all your love to tonight's unexpected star of tonight's show. It's Louise! <laughs> Can you believe it's real? It's 
It felt amazing. It just feels like I'm trying not to cry. Um, it just is a complete dream come true, and I'm so grateful. Thank you. Well, you absolutely blew this roof off. Come on, Maz. Come on, all of you. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Maz who nominated Louise. And, of course, Gemma. Oh, very emotional. <laughs> How did it feel performing in front of all these people? Must have been amazing. It was, it's so amazing. Like, um, I'm so glad these guys were here to see it. Well, unfortunately, there was somebody who wasn't here, and she's played a big part in your life, is, 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 is your nan. My nan, yeah. I know. She was unable to come tonight. <laughs> yeah, bless her. Oh, I wish yeah. she was here, but I know that, regardless, she'll be so proud when she well, watches Well, we have it. actually set up a, a link so that oh, she could no. watch you. Um, live at home. Oh. Um, there she is! It's Nan! <laughs> There's Nan! Oh. <laughs> Hi, Nan! Hello! Hello! Did you, did you enjoy that? It was wonderful. Wonderful. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. And I'm sure that your grandpa would be very proud too if he was here. That's all he ever wanted to see was to see you perform on stage, and especially in London. So proud, so proud of you, darling. Oh, there you go. <laughs> so, so sweet. We're so glad you enjoyed it. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Nan. And one more time for our amazing, unexpected star of tonight's show, Louise, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. Good night, Bravo. If you'd like to nominate someone for the unexpected star of the show or for any other surprise, go to bbc.co.uk slash big show for all the details. Next week, as if I manscape in the kitchen, Tom Allen plays Centre Wall. Chesney Hawkes becomes our latest unexpected star star. And there's music from OOR Eric Cantona. If you're missing reality TV sensation, the Traders UK press read now to get stuck into new Traders Australia on iPlayer. And it's a bigger, smaller, longer, shorter, hilarious podcast revamp. New Ellis James and John Robbins on Sounds. Next tonight, new Weakest Link. Ma 
Kimasu, Kota Kisu, Kimana, si hari kan itu. Konto si hanya kita, Hikasa Kimasa, Genza naki hari itu, Hirai Mosi Gesi U. That was amazing, what a beautiful song. Yeah, it's fun. Um, this is your new single, when's your new album out? February the 9th. It's going to be a huge sensation because you sing amazingly, you're so super cool. Well done, thank you thank for you coming so on for my show. Me. Good luck with everything. It's Zara Larson, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> So, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to catch up with our central guest, AJ Adudu, and see what replies she got. Come on, then. <laughs> so. Hi, AJ. Hiya. You seem to have no anxiety whatsoever over the replies. I just got a feeling no one's texting you back. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so let's remind ourselves of the text that I sent to everybody in AJ's phone that she's confident Nobody replied to. <laughs> I had such a weird dream last night. You and I were married and had a barney at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. You were wearing my blue latex catsuit and chasing me around the Big Dipper. What do you think that... Sorry. When I said blue latex catsuit, a man made the most creepy noise I've <laughs> ever heard in my life. I said blue latex catsuit and all we heard was... <laughs> Please. Sir, control yourself! <laughs> you were wearing my blue latex catsuit <laughs> and chasing me around the Big Dipper. What do you think that means? OK, so we'll start with TV's Ben Shepherd. Oh. Oh. You, how do you know Sheps? I did a pilot for him. OK. The show got commissioned. Beautiful. With a different presenter. <laughs> who, who presented it? Alan Carr. <laughs> Damn him! Damn, you and him must always be competing for the same jobs. <laughs> <laughs> You're so similar. Interchangeable. <laughs> he says, you say weird, AJ, but let's face it, you're only human. It was going to happen sooner or later. <laughs> then he's gone for the emoji of the winking tongue out. <laughs> that said, not sure there's enough talc in the whole of Blackpool <laughs> to get me into that catsuit, but I'm up for it if you are. <laughs> Chefs. <laughs> and he's online. Thank you, man. Oh, I might, I might send him a, yeah. Defo up for it, lad. <laughs> <laughs> I've actually replied that to Ben Shepard. <laughs> it's only because he's online, I just thought I'm well as well. He's waiting, he's so excited. <laughs> Shepard's married with children. <laughs> he's sitting in the downstairs loo going, I'll be out in a minute. <laughs> now, this says Tom Watson, and there's a photograph. That's Tom Watson, the former deputy leader of oh. the Labour Party. <laughs> Don't tell me you two host a show together and they replace him with Alan Carr. <laughs> what? How do you know Tom Watson? <laughs> do you know what? <laughs> we did a show together. <laughs> you mean Tom Watson? I presented the show um, called Don't Rock the Boat, where a bunch of celebrities yeah. split into two teams okay. to race <laughs> from the... Where were they racing from? We started from? in Cornwall. <laughs> we started in Cornwall. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and we went all the way up to the to like John O'Groats. Oh, I'm sorry, I missed that one. Um, <laughs> I think Alan Carr turned that down. <laughs> he started with, "Oh my God," and then he's written a sentence that we've never had on Centaur. He oh. went, "That is avant-garde." <laughs> <laughs> Not even sure I know what that means. <laughs> Aren't you married yet, anyway? Of course, if we were married, you'd be Lady AJ. Ooh! 
Political. Political. <laughs> Political. All right. Derma O'Leary. Uh, it's a standard Big Brother dream. We've all been there. <laughs> I had exactly the same dream about Davina. <laughs> Ben Foden? Ben Foden! Who's that? Ex-rugby player. Right. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, so he's gone nothing good with all the eyes, and then he's gone, or maybe something really good. <laughs> <laughs> You're really freaking out now. <laughs> he said, I do look good in blue and latex. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry, I didn't know they were going to go this way. <laughs> it's starting to feel stressful now, isn't it? Yeah, it yeah. is. I'm, just, I'm literally sweating. I'm like, help! <laughs> help. Uh, Dan Walker. Dan Walker. Dan Walker. There's no way he's going to get flirty. No way. Dan he's not going to get flirty. So he's quite a long text. It means two things. One, you're mad. Two, <laughs> it would take me about two weeks and a lot of grease to get into that cat suit of yours. There's no way I'd be chasing you anywhere wearing that. <laughs> Hope you're OK. Oh, no. Then he said, will you ask Michael if I can go back on the wheel? <laughs> ah, <he's got> you! <laughs> <laughs> <Busted! laughs> uh, Barber. Barber is uh, Tom. He um, he's a producer, musician, right. and friend. Okay. <laughs> well, I have to be honest. He has taken this more seriously than anybody. <laughs> <laughs> he he, uh, he I think he's used artificial intelligence <laughs> to find out what the dream means. <laughs> The dream could suggest a desire for excitement and adventure in a Ooh. romantic relationship. The conflict or argument, in brackets, Barney, could symbolise unresolved issues or differences that need to be addressed. The blue latex catsuit may represent a need for vulnerability and trust in the relationship. Chasing each other on the Big Dipper may signify the ups and downs of a relationship. <laughs> With the roller coaster yes. representing the emotional journey experienced together. Well, yes. that's our answer. That's my son. David Getter has just texted. He's just gone three laughing emojis and then just wow. <laughs> Dan Electrician. Dan. Dan Electrician. The Alecky. <laughs> He done me dirty. He sex back. What did he do? <laughs> he did he your sex dirty. Back. Oh, he shafted me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He shafted you. He shafted me. Yeah. And he's sexing me back. What's yes, he, he said? has. What's he said? What's he said? <laughs> Is he going to come back and fix those problems? Yeah. <laughs> he said it means you had too much to drink. I'm more worried about the blue latex cat suit. Mm. Well, I'm worried about the sensor light that won't switch off. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, <laughs> when are you fixing that sensor light? Text me back! <laughs> and then I'm going to put, I think that's what it means. <laughs> <laughs> God, he really wound you up, didn't he? <laughs> what? Damn! The lecky! <laughs> It's in a room and dark with him. Oh, I'm in dark anyway, because the bloody light not working. <laughs> you are a, such a sensation. We love you so much. You're so funny. An amazing sport. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the fantastic, broken sensor light owning, hilarious, wondrous, blue latex, cat suit adorning, AJ Adudu. Very, very good. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's the moment we've all been waiting for. Earlier tonight, of course, Louise came here thinking she was here for a skydive, but she was actually here for a moment she's been waiting for for a very long time. 
let's have a quick look at how she's been getting on since that enormous surprise. Oh my God, what is happening? At first of all, I thought something had broke. I recognised him straight away and I was like, oh my God, I have a feeling I know what's going on. This is your night now, Louise. Oh my God. <laughs> Good luck. No pressure. Good luck. We love you, we love Louise. <laughs> what am I going to sing? Oh God. Welcome to your rehearsal room. Oh, thank you. I'm so shaking. <laughs> so we're going to do a little warm-up. To sing on a West End stage, it's a complete dream come true for me. I absolutely love musical theatre. I just love everything about it. My mum loved musical theatre. My nan loves musical theatre. I really wish that my nan could be here, but I know she'll be just as proud of me watching on the telly as she would if she was here. Singing, to me, is just the way that I've always got through life, like when life's been tough, I turn to music. So much can be said through a song that can't be said through words. It's the most me I ever am, is when I'm singing. Okay. You're ready. You're ready to do it. Okay. I just hope my nerves don't take over, but I'm raring to go. So ladies and gentlemen, please give all your love to tonight's unexpected star of tonight's show. It's Louise! <laughs> It felt amazing. It just feels like I'm trying not to cry. Um, it just is a complete dream come true, and I'm so grateful. Thank you. Well, you absolutely blew this roof off. Come on, Maz. Come on, all of you. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Maz who nominated Louise. And, of course, Gemma. Oh, very emotional. <laughs> How did it feel performing in front of all these people? Must have been amazing. It was, it's so amazing. Like, um, I'm so glad these guys were here to see it. Well, unfortunately, there was somebody who wasn't here, and she's played a big part in your life, is, 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 is your nan. My nan, yeah. I know. She was unable to come tonight. <laughs> yeah, bless her. Oh, I wish yeah. she was here, but I know that, regardless, she'll be so proud when she well, watches Well, we have it. actually set up a, a link so that oh, she could no. watch you. Um, live at home. Oh. Um, there she is! It's Nan! <laughs> There's Nan! Oh. <laughs> Hi, Nan! Hello! Hello! Did you, did you enjoy that? It was wonderful. Wonderful. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. And I'm sure that your grandpa would be very proud too if he was here. That's all he ever wanted to see was to see you perform on stage, and especially in London. So proud, so proud of you, darling. Oh, there you go. So, so sweet. 
We're so glad you enjoyed it. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Nan. And one more time for our amazing, unexpected star of tonight's show, Louise, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. Good night, Bravo. If you'd like to nominate someone for the unexpected star of the show or for any other surprise, go to bbc.co.uk slash big show for all the details. Next week, as if I manscape in the kitchen, Tom Allen plays Centre Wall. Chesney Hawks becomes our latest unexpected star star. And there's music from OOR Eric Cantona. If you're missing reality TV sensation, the Traders UK press read now to get stuck into new Traders Australia on iPlayer. And it's a bigger, smaller, longer, shorter, hilarious podcast revamp. New Ellis James and John Robbins on Sounds. Next tonight, new Weakest Link.